Hello, welcome to yet another episode of the whole nine years. Today's panel, as you can see, hello! All females up in here. So after the last episode, I felt like the guys had their chance to speak their opinions from their perspective because if you watched it, you would have noticed that eventually they had like a general consensus. They didn't really disagree as much. So I thought, how about I bring females on and I think if they will probably agree on one thing. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but hey, let it go. So first, oh, let me let them introduce themselves before we kick off. What's up? Hi, my name is Kuda. Kuda Kabecha. Hey, I'm Juicy Basanga. <coughs> Hi, my name is Juicy <laughs> Hi, Hi, I'm Sly. Yes, Karibuni Sana. So today's topic, we are asking how much is too much to give up for marriage or a relationship. Uh, this is as a result of, you see, especially in African context, we see that females usually end up having to give up the things that they love for their men. Because for some odd reason, it's not that they're empowered, it's just that it's just how the thing that is expected, it's just how the culture has been. So I decided, how about I bring these girls on? And I see, at, at what point do you exactly draw the line? You decide, hey, no, this is too much. I'm at, at what point is it just supposed to be in you to just give it up? So yes. I don't think you should give up anything to anyone. For marriage. Just don't give up. As you, why, why are you giving up? You know, by the time you're doing something, that thing does, does not only say who you are, it's like it's part of you. You see, if I start a blog right now, that blog speaks something about me. You know, so you can just give up my blog because, you know, okay, yeah, that is one too. <coughs> A job I'm doing, I'm doing them this week. Something it's like actually the branch, the branches of the individual that I am. So, why, what should I do? You should not give up anything, in my opinion, for anyone. Yeah, I think the, the guy should be able to understand that if you like, if you love this thing, this thing is something that you cherish, something that you enjoy doing. Because if he loves you, you love him. You can't just he can just tell you to give up on something that he knows you love. You have to be a point where it's like okay, we can you can still do it, but then maybe you can you can move to this place and you do it in a different place or something. But then he has to know that this is something you love and he has to accept it. Because if he doesn't accept it, it means. He's, he's trying to make you change your attitude. So what do you think are some of the obvious things that whether you like or not, you have to sacrifice for your man? Whether it's marriage, whether it's a relationship. Like what, what do you think are some of the obvious things that at all people are doing just as a man? I think first of all, you need to define Because for me, I'm looking at it more as compromise and sacrifice. So it's not like I'm giving it up entirely, but I'm choosing a different direction for the sake of this union that we are now having. So I was an individual, you are an individual, we all had different purposes in life. But then when we come together, we have to identify where we are headed. So for our identification of where we are headed, it later determines what are these things that we have to act on and what are the things that we have to embrace to make this union work going forward. So what happens when you're like in the very of Kenya relationship and you all of a sudden have to move to a whole other different country and you already have your life started? In the sense that there's already children in this mind, there's already other people in this mind. You, your career has skyrocketed, like what? Skyrocketed, and his career has and maybe it provides better opportunities for the entire family. But for you, as the individual female in the relationship, in the marriage, you really don't feel it, but you have no choice. Like, what happens in such situations? Like, at how do you think such situations should be handled? If you have children, the children mm -hmm. are the most important at that point. The what, what um, is better for them is what they think you should go for. Because at that time, your kids are more 
like they need more of the attention and everything and what is good for them I think is what we all should agree on. So what is good for you? Huh? What happens to <laughs> And because those children are my children and his children, so why do I have to be the one to move with our children? I'm thinking, this you're moving to steps, but I have a car here. here. Mm -hmm. I have a relevance here that I'll never have if I move to steps. You get? You know that those jobs, like my pay here, my everything here, I'll never have it when I move to steps. You know, for me, I think. I'm, I'm very selfish with myself. I keep telling my friends just be selfish with yourself every single day. Stay, you know, and because they're also selfish. <laughs> and your husband, and you know, he, he can go. Yeah. He can go. So what? So does that mean you become responsible for breaking that bond? No, not really. Breaking that bond. Not really. Breaking the bond. He can break. He can do his own thing. Yeah. Yeah. But there and still come visit and stuff. No, no. What happens to the feminine needs? I mean, you're gonna hold it up until it comes back. Yes! Guys, yes. you can't. Oh, so you want me to move? Maybe to move out of me. I hold, let's say, a whole company, a whole farm, a whole brand. Right. Relationships. But I think you can find the options. If his job is really well paid than yours. I think it's just yeah, because yeah, to sustain all of you. I don't even, I'm not even going to refute that. That is, that is, that is a very nice thing. But um, I'll never be that woman who, and this is something we did the Bolivians who are moving to everyone. And she says, her husband can afford to pay her. You see all the things she does. He can pay twice as much. But she's never that woman who is there at home. Has a, he and never be that woman, even if my husband is the king, I never be that woman who is there at home. Just because I'm so okay. Oh, okay, it's Annie, 20 M. We're moving there. What, what am I doing? Taking care of the children. 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 Child. Child. Let me ask you. You leave the children alone in a whole different country that they don't even know of. They need you. Oh, so, so, so I give up my. I think those are two different situations. Because of my children. What yeah. do you mean that the like, If the husband can be able to provide for everything without the man doing anything, so okay for the family, for the whole family to But if it's, he's not capable of providing everything and all, the woman and the children can stay here as he does as well. And then let's also consider the fact that why are you doing this? Is it because you love it or is it because you want it? If you're doing it because you love it, wherever you are, whatever location, you can still string up and it will catch fire and go. You know, but if you're doing it, of course everything takes time. It takes time. But if you're doing it for the money, trust you me, it will be very hard for you to leave. Because one, it's not because you're passionate about it, but because it's giving you a lot of money. So if it is for passion, I will still move. Because uh, if I'm moving and I find greener pastures there, where the wood, we start over. Mm. And something that is within you is always easy to start over because it's yours. You own it. You are not given by someone else. And it does not change who you are. It's, it's your being you that helps you accomplish this thing because you're different. And that's your life of doing things. So you, you mentioned something about when it gets to a point where maybe his job, his new offer, let's say he's being offered to move to a whole like different place and he gets like triple that salary. It means your, your children go to better schools, you have better housing, you have better everything, health care from zero to a hundred. So do you think if at all you end up having to sacrifice just because the financial gain improves, do you think then the woman will end up just being angry towards this man or holding it against him for the rest of her life? She might. She might because you see the way, the way it's expected. Oh, my husband is my husband is earning more. Where are you working? You know, it's expected that I use everything just because of my husband. That is, that is something our moms have done. You know, they, they're like, oh, you know, for my children, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person who, let's say, I didn't play this on the sport because of my training hours don't go in tandem with the time I'm supposed to bring my child from me. You know, why am I giving a man so much for he, he imagine, imagine I'm moving because of him. Imagine, as in for him, I think Jed is just going to move, he's going to work. He's, everything for him is okay. And then for me, I can't do the things I love because I haven't done. Maybe I don't even want the money. I want just, you know, you're feeling what I'm saying. No, I don't even want to. I want to like, do things that fulfill me. 
then would you guys advise women that if you know you at one point you'll have to sacrifice yourself for your man, then don't get into marriage in the first place? No, no, no. because you, you always have to. Then, what for, then why would you get into that marriage knowing at one point things might have to change and you might have to make your sacrifice for that man? But you see, at the same point, uh, before we get even to this marriage business, we'll have communicated, we'll have discussed, you know, uh, I'm seeing this kind of job that I'm doing, there might be possibilities of asking you, would you be comfortable with that? Yes, no. If no, cheers. Let me look for someone else who can come. Or you can come into an agreement. Yes. You know, that's why there's courtship. Yeah. Like but what if at that time he didn't Just know? No, yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah. Then, then you marry a purposeless man. What were you No, doing? no, 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 wait. He's, he's working in a different company now, right? At this point, you're, you're courting, you're dating. You get married and you're still working there. Yeah. With him having no intention of moving to any place. Then later in life, after like five years, he decides. No, let me move to Lima Pastures to like a different oh, company. Even just the company itself tells him, you know, like it's exactly. you, you, you he can't always know. Yeah. And for me, I don't know. For me, I have a problem with moving. I have a problem with not fulfilling me for the sake of someone else. I, it's, it's, a, it's an issue. I can't. I can't. You see the way? And they keep saying, you see the way they can just drop everything for her. I mean, I can't. I will never have it in a while. I will never, not because of the money. I, I can't. But by the time you have a blog, by the time Joy acts, Joy will wake up, I don't know, at five. So, so that at six, that she's an audition. That is something Joy does. When is someone telling Joy, give up that? You know, she didn't start. Or she, she's, she's thinking that she's like 15. She's not that seven. You're telling her, oh, now you know we're getting, but you know, as in. You just can't tell them to give up the things they love just no, to get out of this too much. I, the way she was, what she said first about it, you need to find what to give up is, is it completely letting go of it like I'm it's done? Up. Like, yeah, I or I can do it in a different place, in a different situation. The same thing that I love, like if it's us, <laughs> You can, can do it, you can do it in, if it's any type of art, music, and singing, anything you can move. If it's business, business you can start it anywhere you want. If it's a blog, you can still go with your blog in that country. As in, you have to reach that point where you need to compromise something both of you. Not just, it's not like it's only on you. Maybe he's also leaving his family there. They're both getting family and friends. No, as in, you I, I understand. I'm saying, yeah, it's good to give up something. Then if you even. I know I'll give up something because of my significant other. But I'm just saying it will never be comfortable giving up that thing. You know, you know those things you live on the very So you can be for your No, but it will take me time. Yeah. I'm not saying I know, but it will take me time. Yeah. That you never understood. Yeah, I just believe what I'm like, yeah, but you know, it's the end of it. Yeah, I know. But you think you should also realize that this thing can be true. Maybe that you're the one because that exactly. you do this hard thing. But what are the chances that men sacrifice themselves for us? They do. What are the chances that the African man sacrifice himself? What are the chances that the African man will sacrifice himself? Especially in a relationship or a marriage. Or marriage. Or rather, the percentage is way too low. When did he give up? Ask your mom, dad, what he gave up. You can't give up. Nothing. This is just nothing. When did he give up? Shit. Like for real. When did? For how much? At some point, she tell me, ah, can cannot just stay at home and take care of the children. I'm like, maybe my wife brings me more good women than the children. Why do you want me to stay? You know, when did he do shit? I think for some things you just have to get there first and give uh, an informed opinion. But for this case, I would say it depends on how you started off your relationship. Did you start at a place of there was one who was superior to the other? Or did you start as equal? If we start as equal, then we talked these things out. You know how, like you know how to manipulate you into agreeing to what you want. The same way he knows how to manipulate you. And we have seen relationships where people have that. I've seen a woman move from Meru to Nairobi and the husband had to move. And then they moved to the UK because of the woman and the husband had to move. So I think the situations are different and sometimes people, people end
end up divorcing just because there was lack of communication. And no one was willing to, to compromise with the other. So I think it's, it's a two way thing. We have to talk this out. Uh, no, it definitely has to be a two way thing. But I feel like where we are right now, we are still not at that point where we need to understand and accept that it's going to be I think we are still um, in the mindset of it's the woman who is giving everything. She's moving from her father's house, she's giving up her last name, she's, she's completely forming herself so you know, to meet what this man wants. So, I, I don't know how long it will take for us to realize that both of us need to start doing this thing. But as of right now, men don't do as much as to like communicate and talk it out so that when it reaches that point where you have to give up something whoever it is who is giving up either the male or the female you have already talked about it before and you had already agreed that if certain if a certain circumstance comes up we can do this or if this comes up we can do this other thing so i think it's just about being able to communicate to each other and knowing what this person loves and what they don't love because if it's something that i love i wouldn't you i wouldn't expect you to tell me to just give it up like that so yeah i think communicating and knowing what your partner loves also communication is key I think you should keep communication uh, communicating to each other and understanding each other know that each of you have a purpose of why you're in this world and you need to agree on what and what not to do and also pray for each other yeah. I feel like you should, whatever you're giving up, you should be comfortable so that it, it does not cause any issues after after the whole situation. Yeah, that's my yeah. I, yeah, I agree. It has to come from the heart. Otherwise, it will feel like you're being forced to do it, even though you know that shouldn't be the case. It will lead to just many problems and so on and so forth. So, yeah, and I think you can do that by like talking to one another. The, you know, raising up any issues that you feel are bothering you immediately. Like, don't let it like sit down. You know, it will just pile yeah, up. Good lab. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, I'd say it depends on the two of you first because we were not there when the two of you were getting together. So, uh, yes, don't give up who you are. Don't give up the things that you worked hard for. 
don't give up your character, your identity. But at the same time, as you are trying to be you, you have to remember that you are in this together and so you have to make compromises. You know, communication is prudent. I mean, you just have to speak to each other and tell each other how you feel about the situation. And I think some of these things can be avoided when you both know where you are headed in life. So if you know where the direction you're taking in your life, then take that and run with it. And whoever is part of that direction will definitely accommodate your dream, accommodate the changes that come with it, and live and love you. And so love is a concept that is understood, and so you just have to learn to understand each other's expression of love. Before giving up, you should first weigh your options. You should be comfortable enough to give up for the situation of your mind. And um, you, should, uh, you should be open enough. You should sit down and discuss and say, you know what, I think I'm not comfortable with this situation. Yeah, for in my, in my case, I think I can give up for my mind, depending on what I'm giving up. Remember, in a relationship or in a marriage, it's just not, it's not about, it's not two, it's three. It's you, God, and your man, or man, whichever way you get it, yes. So there's one person in the middle. So even when you're making those choices, that person is also consulted.